Hi, my name is Kevin Reed, and this is my project, but let me please warn you that you might want to step back. You might want to sit down. Because not only this is a project and part of my homework, it's actually a warning. A warning to the American Christianity. My project is why the pews today are empty. Why are they empty? Why am I asked to speak at what Americans are calling the church when the church has never been a building in the Bible? It's called a temple. However, we're calling it the church because we're too scared to face that we are the church. So I'll go to where there should be thousands and thousands and thousands because the pews are there. But there's two or three I'm speaking to. We got to look who's to blame for basically the death. Of the pews. Are we going to have a funeral? Or are we going to sit here and, and cry over it? And, and wonder how they died? When they died? You know what caused the death? Because if you look at what's caused the death of evangelica, evangelical churches. As the American group calls them. We'd have to look inside a pew and see a mirror. We'd have to look inside and see that it's us. It's the way that we live. It's the way that our lives have transformed because of the pew that we used to sit in or the pew we sat in. You may ask, well, you're not choosing a topic, you're doing a sermon, but I'm not doing a sermon because what I want to explain to you is there's three times as many movie theaters, or three times as many churches, as you call them, in the United States than there are movie theaters, but who's waiting in line for what? Not the message of Christ. That's probably because the church is lukewarm. See, in Revelation, that we misquote and call it Revelations, but it's Revelation, it says, I know your works, you are neither cold or hot. With that, you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will spit you out of the mouth. Imagine that being spit out of the mouth because you are too scared to get up and go like the Great Commission calls you to go. You just sit in the pew and think you're okay. People say today that the greatest cause of atheism is Christians who acknowledge Jesus with their lips and deny them with their lifestyle because the Bible comes to church with you and you walk out and you think you're doing everything good with that Bible in your hand and then you set it on the dashboard of your car and you never see it again until next Sunday. Mahani Gandhi was the greatest speaker of all times once said, I like your Christ and you don't like your Christians. Your Christians are so unlike Christ. Are we unlike Christ? A church is a hospital for sinners. It's not a museum for saints. And it's the church people who are pushing people away from Christianity because we have taken the command of Christ to go baptize and teach all nations and mutated it into a comfortable call to become, be baptized, and sit in one location. I warn every person watching this homework assignment that one day Christ could look right in your eyes and say, Child, I did not know you. Think about that. Because if we keep doing what we're doing today, the death of the church as we know it is coming. I was asked to speak at a church, as the Americans call it. And I walked in and saw a church could have been filled with thousands of people, but there were three. Now I've got nothing against God, it's his fan club I can't stand right now. And it's not... In my little area, it's not just Ohio. I've, I've went around the world and have seen this. Did we forget the suffering that Christ did for us? Have we forgot that? Because Christ said in Matthew 16, 18, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. It's done. But we're getting so manipulated and confused, and we're getting so turned on by... Keeping our Bible plugged with money and doing something that Americans have loved and called the prosperity gospel. There is nothing prosperous about the gospel. It's not just prosperity. There's suffering. There's hurt. There's pain. And if you write a book called Your Best Life Now and you're buying a book called Your Best Life Now, then you must be going to hell because that can't be your best life now. The best life is going to be when you get into heaven. So don't just go to church and but be the church. When you sit there lukewarm, then you're just keeping a seat to go to hell. 
You've got to get up and go. The Great Commission calls for it.